I wanted to uh, make something that you could grab that would immediately look for things like cardiovascular disease or uh, indexes of stress that were unhealthy, but that wouldn't look at all like an app, that wouldn't have anything to do with the phone. Primarily because the phone is a huge source of stress. People never turn it off, it never leaves their sight, it's constantly plugging them into work, email to whatever is going on in their lives. So the stone was an attempt to go from quantified self to essential self and to remove the screen from the embodied computing bit of what we do. The idea is you just grab it um, and it detects that you have a pulse, therefore, you know, somebody's holding it. It immediately starts to look for a cardiovascular pulse and that does two things. It makes music out of the pulse itself so that you're immediately connected with what's going on in your heart. And then it uh, has a second wave of sound, which is meant to be a breath guide. And so if you breathe at that rate, it lowers your blood pressure down. We were trying to capture people's ECG from the hands. So that was the first thing I wanted to check that we could get working. So the first thing I did was actually have an Arduino and an ECG board just to check we could actually use our method of collecting the ECG and get a signal from it. Because if that wouldn't work, then the whole project wouldn't have worked. The music is driven primarily by the heartbeat, that's the underlying tempo, which is quite a sort of standard musical tempo anyway. And the idea is that the music helps you to breathe and that it induces a kind of relaxation state. So without you know, wanting to go too far into new age ambient territory, um, it is a kind of ambient soundscape that you'll be hearing. I saw my challenge as a composer coming into this uh, as making that interesting. Um, because hopefully people will be using this quite a lot, maybe every day for a reasonable period of time. So uh, I'm trying to find ways of making it evolve rather than just staying the same all the time. What we're doing in terms of uh, the design of this is that we're using a gate array. And the nice thing about using a gate array is that we can make decisions late on. So we know that we want an audio output. We know that we want a processor controlling the system. We know that we want LEDs that are lighting up in different ways. So we just put all those on the board and we can make our decisions late on down the line. One of the people who's doing research in this area thinks that a better way of storing the data is what are the harmonics and the fundamentals inside a violin or a cello or something like that. And because we've used a gate array, we can choose to do that or the MP3 player right late on or even after we've delivered it to the customer. Well, the current prototype is very exciting because we've actually put together a, a novel bit of electronics that I don't think anyone else has done anything like this before. It looks like it's going to work and personally I can't wait to get my hands on a, a finished one to, to use and sort of use for sort of chilling out and sort of, uh, I really love the, the, the concept. One part of what the stone means to address is how do you do epidemiology of stress at a, at a, a really global level? You know, and so to distribute tons and tons of these would be the, the idea. And then to gather intelligence on the cloud and look at um, global correlations of stress. And then we want to uh, take what we've built to an accelerator or an incubator in the hardware space that will allow us to build something like a 4G chip into it so that it can talk to its own network without necessarily making people pair their phones to it and so on. And, um, and take it to full manufacture and perhaps if all of that looks like the right kind of solid picture, raise a Kickstarter campaign.